We start by first creating a pattern from the white sand texture. Go to Edit, Define Pattern, give it a name that you would like to use, press OK. You can close your texture and now start a new drawing. Uh, we'll make this one 500 by 500, give it a name, and leave it as transparent. Uh, for our default layer here, we're going to call it sand. And we're going to start by first adding a couple layer effects to this. Uh, we want to do two things. We want to um, use our pattern that we just created as an overlay texture and we also want to give it our sandy color that we want to use. So we'll start by creating a layer effect by double clicking on the layer and you go to pattern overlay and in the drop down we should find our white sand uh, that we just created. Click OK. We'll leave the opacity at 0 or at 100 and the scale at 100. Uh, link with layer and then we set the color overlay color to something uh, sandy. So uh, that looks like a good combination. And the layer effect is in place but you're not going to see it until we actually throw color on the layer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, just throw black in. Now the reason you don't see the texture is because the color overlay is uh, set to 100% opacity so we need to change that uh, to a lower value. Change it to 30% and now you can see the texture of the sand and it also uh, subdues the color of the sand just a bit. Okay next we need to add a new layer uh, above the sand layer. So go over here new layer and we're just going to call this waves and again we're going to add a layer effect to this and we're going to choose a pillow emboss and we're going to set it to chisel hard and we're going to change our depth to about 61% and make our size about 40 pixels and naturally you can adjust this um, as needed within your own map. Uh, now I like to turn off the global light so that I have more control later on. I can go back and make changes to individual lights on individual effects um, and control what's happening for each one of the layers. If you want to maintain consistency throughout the entire drawing then you should probably just keep it on global light and that way if you use the lighting filter for instance um, you can set it to be the same and everything will fit nicely into it. Uh, we'll leave everything here the same except we're going to change our opacity to 50 percent here as well and this will help sub subdue the effect of the bevel just a bit. Alright, so that's all there is to it on our layer effect. Uh, now to actually get the drawing done, we need to choose we need to choose a uh, pencil or brush. So I'm going to go with a brush and I'm going to set the size of the brush here. If I can get up there. I set it to three and we're going to drop the opacity here down to about 40 and our flow down to 50 and this will give us a nice uh, smooth flow uh, as we begin creating the waves themselves. And then it's just a matter of uh, drawing our lines on our uh, wave layer and that will begin creating our waves of sand uh, as we progress. 
So just to demonstrate here, just create a nice subtle flow and kind of a tiered type effect. And you can see it blends real well together as well as you add additional layers. And you just kind of have to find what works for you. Okay. So after you have a few waves, the or you you finish the waved area, whichever way you want to look at that, uh, you need to go back in and change the opacity of the waves uh, layer and also the fill. Uh, to make the effects a little bit more subtle. So we'll set that opacity to 70 and we'll actually change our fill to zero and that'll get rid of the actual uh, lines themselves. So there you have it.